Hey everybody, how you doing? Good morning everybody. Bud Brown and my wife Gloria living in Campo, California right now. And uh, I wanted to make this video just to kind of explain something that may be a misunderstanding. Uh, if you've been following my videos, you know that Gloria's health uh, was touch and go there for a while. And then as the days go by, she's getting healthier and healthier. And so uh, one of the things that we have learned about ourselves is that uh, we're missing the socialization aspect of living. Right, sweetheart? Yes. So... Um, even though we're here, we're healthy, we have our children, but if you followed us in the Philippines, every morning we went out and she went to... Okay, uh, thrift yeah. store? She started to say, okay, okay, which is a thrift store and a McDonald's mm -hmm. and meeting with her friends and uh, chit chat. And I would go out to different uh, restaurants for breakfast and sometimes meet subscribers and sometimes just by myself. But anyway, we really enjoyed that. But since we've been here, transportation has really been a problem. Or I should say a challenge. So she's getting better and uh, I'm uh, getting excited about making plans because I love Mexico. We're right near Mexico right now. So we've decided that just for fun, let's check out uh, Mexico. And when I was a kid, I uh, lived with a family in uh, Guadalajara. And I just love that city. And so I thought, you know, let's go down and uh, just check it out. But as is our custom, when we go to a new country, place, I go there first to check it out, as I say, a recon run to uh, see if it would be uh, suitable for us. And so I made the announcement, I think the last video of it recently, that I was going to go down there and stay for seven, seven days. Huh? Seven, yeah, seven days. Yeah, seven days. Six nights and seven days. That should be enough time for, hopefully, to check out what... Uh, what it would be like if uh, we both went down there, kind of clear the path. Well, got a comment implying that uh, your wife is sick and how dare you take off for a month, you know, and leaving your wife. <laughs> oh, my friends, this is how rumors get started. First, I'm going to be there for seven days, six nights, and Gloria is in good hands with our children. Uh, they even have a phone number of the place that I'm staying. And, uh, you know, if you know me, and most of you do know me, I would never uh, do anything that would endanger my wife or put her in any kind of dangerous situation. I just went, hey, come on, we've been together for 52 years. <laughs> so she's my first priority. And I'm doing this, and I know I don't need to explain this, but I'm, I'm going to anyway, to uh, raise our enjoyment of social socializing. So one of the main reasons I'm going down there is to check out the Filipino population, if there is any. But, uh, so that's that. But something else I wanted to share. You remember that uh, I've said that I used to keep a, a log, a, a record, so to speak, of all the coincidences and a synchronistic, a synchronistic uh, events that's been happening in my life. <laughs> oh, another one I wanted to share. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we get a shuttle. Uh, there's a free sh a shuttle service that takes us uh, from our house, and they come right up door to door and picks us up and uh, 
take us to our doctor's appointments. And because we're kind of out of ways, the drive is about 45, 50 minutes. Depending on traffic, could be an hour drive. But anyway, I enjoy talking to the drivers, these uh, shuttle van drivers. So the other day, just oh, a few days ago, I was telling this lady who's a driver, I said, we're getting ready to go down to uh, uh, Guadalajara. She said, I'm from Guadalajara. What? Really? She said, yeah, my dad's um, uh, a, a retired taxi driver. He said, he'll pick, he'll pick you up if you want at the airport. Oh, man, really? She, I said, well, I'm going down there June 6th. She said, well, I'm going down there June 7th. <laughs> oh, man. So she's going to go down there, of course, visit family. And so we exchanged phone numbers. And uh, I'm just really excited to meet him and, and her family there. And who knows what will develop. So anyway, uh, I wanted to share that. And um, say I'm looking forward to it. I've got the Airbnb already lined up, paid for. Got the flight paid for. And everything is just all set to go. So, honey, you wanted to, I wanted you to let people know if it's okay with you if I go. <laughs> I don't have any problem to let him go. I trust him. Yeah. So, go for a week. Go for a week. That's not, that's not but that. But that will be to get away with my butt anyway. Yeah, get away from your butt for a while, yeah. <laughs> I, don't have any, I, don't, I don't have anything to worry about him. All I want him to do is, is be careful. Yeah. So we're going to probably call every day, I imagine. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure I will. <laughs> okay, love. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by and uh, keeping track of our crazy life. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.